being able to move is important. So we worry about bone breaks and add calcium to our diet to protect our bones. Now, no bones about it. A bone break is seriously disabling, but in the relatively healthy, it takes quite a knock to break a bone. The part of you more likely to impede your moving is not the bone itself, but the bits and pieces that connect the bones to the rest of you. Tendons connect your muscles to your bones and ligaments connect bones to bones. And if these get stretched wrong or break, you're in trouble. And it happens. Many sporting careers have been terminated thanks to a tear in a tendon or ligament. But you don't need to be a superstar athlete to be sidelined by a torn something. You can tear something when taking out the garbage. So, can we help these guys handle the mechanical demands of moving? Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover how to toughen up your tendons and ligaments so you avoid injuries. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Tendons and ligaments connect different things, but they're both made of collagen. Now, the name comes from the Greek word kola, which means glue. Collagen holds your body together, and it's the most abundant protein in your body. Now, tendons and ligaments start making collagen every time you exercise. In fact, it takes approximately six minutes of pushing and shoving to turn the collagen factory on. But how efficiently this happens does depend on the raw ingredients for collagen synthesis being available in the moment. It just so happens there are some oddball amino acids needed for collagen synthesis. Glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. Now, these are found in protein-based foods, especially protein sourced from animals. It's highly unlikely that you would be deficient, but they can be a bit thin on the ground, especially at the moment when your tendons and ligaments start doing collagen synthesis. No worries. You can give them a boost. This is what a team of researchers discovered when they served a little gelatine juice to ligaments growing in a dish. Now, the special cocktail they served came courtesy of a human athlete. Let me explain what happened. The team invited eight healthy athletic types, all male, to visit their lab. They checked in hungry. But before the cocktail hour for the ligaments could begin, the volunteers were hooked up for blood draws. A baseline draw kicked off the clock. Then came the cocktail. The tea mixed gelatine with a black currant cordial enriched with vitamin C. 
it had 48 milligrams per serving. Now, the exact amount of gelatine varied, so there was a no gelatine version, which served as the control, and a low gelatine and high gelatine version as well, suitably fortified. The guys just hung around for an hour before the collagen factory was jump-started with about six minutes of skipping. And then it was back to resting and bloodletting. The blood was used to provide sustenance to the ligaments in the dish. The team confirmed the gelatine cocktail was indeed providing more sustenance. These graphs show the levels of different amino acids in the blood. Time zero is when the exercise happened. Time minus one is when the gelatine juice was consumed. Now, remember, glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline are the amino acids needed for collagen synthesis. And these are peaking around one hour after they've been consumed, which is exactly when the volunteers exercised to stimulate collagen synthesis. The end result, ligaments getting fed just what they need when they needed it, were stronger. Well, this is what happened to the lab ligaments. Now, they didn't actually look different, but when they were tested to see what it took to snap the ligament, the ligaments exposed to lots of gelatine were tougher. This research suggests you can toughen up your tendons and ligaments with a well-timed glycine cocktail. An hour or so before you exercise, consume something rich in glycine, bone broth, chicken feet, jelly, or a gelatine spiked coffee, juice, or smoothie, and then do your exercising as normal. You'll maximize the amount of collagen synthesized and strengthen up your tendons and ligaments so they're ready to handle any stresses and strains that happen during this and future exercise sessions. Now, you do need to exercise. Very little collagen synthesis will happen when you're couch potatoing, but exercising with a little glycine in your system will help create better body chemistry. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library, or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not high know someone whose tendons and ligaments work hard for a living, share this video with them so they know how to maximize collagen synthesis and minimize tendon and ligament injuries. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember small things can make a big difference to your health.